Cool. Alright, hello all. Uh, welcome back. This is our travel. The modded Minecraft. Maybe away from the noise. Sheesh. As you can see, I finished the room. A little bit, um, you know, internal spring there, so I can get all the water I need. So you're doing quite well. Um, I need more power down here. Um, and frankly, I'm quite I'm quite tired of lugging lava back and forth. So uh, I'm in the middle of setting something up um, between industrial craft and build craft. Uh, there's a reason why I have a tractor and a compressor. It involves this, as you'll soon find out. Um, let's see. It involves these. As well, um, I need. To, I still need to make a few things. Uh, I'll be empty. I'll do it. I'll do it. See these things go in here. These um bio stuff, and they go in here. We're gonna buy a fuel cell. And then go in a fuel tank. There, I can't read. Anyway. It could be burned for energy. Now with build craft, I can automate that process. Uh, that process. Oh yeah, I also uh, the village needed to cook bricks, so I made go ahead and made a whole bunch of bricks and cooked bricks and um, just kind of made their life make their life a little easier. Uh, right. Tell you what, uh, we're kind of going to do this. Yes, uh, make a compressor, an extractor, uh, maybe some build craft type pipe, uh, obsidian, cobblestone, wood. Um, I'll show you what they do here in a minute. Um, I'm looking for you. You're getting kind of full. Oh. Yeah, I don't need you anymore. Alright. I'm going to use this on the surface. Um, not see if I can pull the glass. No problem. Um, and then we on the surface, I can uh, rely on a different type of power. Uh, in this case, known as solar power. However, I need to make a solar generator. You need to start with generator. Um, cables, excuse me. And there we go. If I did this right. Awesome, I can do it right. Solar panels! Whew! Okay. I got my solar panels, I got my cables. I'm gonna look at coal dust, which is down here. Do that. Uh, and yeah, I just made lots of cables. Lots and lots of. Um, I'll also need something to store the. Um, Solar power power in at night. Um, the lowest form of power storage you can get is something called a bat box. Like this. Um, it'll store, I think, like 60,000 or so um, EU. I will admit it at, at a maximum of 32 EU, or what's known as low voltage every second. Uh, it's really more and then sufficient to do what I need to do. Um, I got me a chest. I made some pipes to move around with. Ooh, uh, you know, I might need some uh, redstone engines. Uh, I'll go check that out.
fact, I'm sure I'm going to need at least two more. There they are. I need more glass. And wooden gears. And wooden planks. And I don't have them. I got three wooden planks left. <laughs> oh well, I can at least start the set up. I don't need... Ah, I got enough food. I got enough of one. Darn it. Uh, there we go. Left. First off, we make wooden gears. Like this. I'm going to grab me a piston. I made quite a few by accident. Um, I miscounted. You'll see. And there, let's go in. No problem. Let's see. I might be in our level here. This is also not a problem. One level. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these. I think I'm good. He's macerating. He's on that. Okay, yeah, we're good. Six by a fuel tank. Alright. I need to be sitting here for now. I'll show you what those go for. Mm -hmm. Well, let me go ahead and leave the noise behind. Oh, my bat box! My, my bat pack! Oh dear. And I'm running out of lava again. Damn it. It's probably gonna drain it. That's it. Now, it appears to be daylight outside. Uh, we'll put boots on. We're gonna stop by the village real quick. Ah, oh, that's much better. Much quieter up here. You're going to see that I've done a lot of work out here. First thing you'll notice is that I've got a skeleton somewhere. <laughs> but now I put a fence to keep the creepers out, keep the skeletons out. <laughs> um, let me cover what that is too here, real quick. Shut you down. He fired an arrow at me. This is my reed farm. Um, this right here is an obsidian pipe. It'll suck up anything that comes to it. To it. Oops, you can, you can stop. Now, because it gets sucked up, I'll put it here to my automatic crafting table. I bet crafting table will repeat this pattern of the reeds to make plant balls, which are stage one of making power. Uh, this engine, this redstone engine, then sucks the uh, resulting plant balls off the chest. Uh, how this works is you push the button, all the reeds fall in there, you flip the switch, get the engine going, and you can see reeds. Picked up. Yeah, there's some wastage. I have not quite been able to figure out how to deal with that, but it's similar from here to pick them up. Or I just leave them be. It doesn't really matter much. Um, it's not a perfect system. It's still under, somewhat under, um, here, I'll just, oops, off in the water. And you can see the resulting plant balls come this way, end up in the chest. Oops. There we go. Uh, I'll leave that be now, uh, for now. Um, all right, I think I saw my reeds out of there. A redstone engine 
is the most basic of engines. Uh, left with its own devices, it won't actually overheat and blow up like some of the other engines will. I think that's cool. I, I haven't talked to these villagers in a while. They, I'm probably trying to figure out who the madman in the forest is. Um, <laughs> with all the strange noises. Yeah, the village is kind of stuck. They needed to make uh, cooked bricks. And they couldn't make cooked bricks on their own. Um, they need me. So I made a bunch of cooked bricks. I'm away, woman. Hi there. Yes, there. And some mud bricks, too, because you might need those. Notice they now have that, and it's now upgrading. Uh, which is over there. I'll be upgrading that quarry. Eggs! As soon as somebody comes over here to uh, upgrade it, of course. I assume. What the hell? They've done some bad things to these trees. <laughs> uh, rice patty, I believe. Uh, but... That's neither here nor there. Now, I talked to him. I'm a regular visitor. Because I've traded so much with these people. See, they're uh, upgrading that quarry there. Yeah, the patty. Yeah, I can buy rice if I felt like it. I don't know what Ras Gula is. I have no idea. Uh, I could use another couple of these. I've kind of burnt them up. Man... Well, I need wood anyway. Hold on. What have you done to these poor trees, guys? Holy cow. Oh, I see. There. What are you doing over here? That's his grove, and that's the weirdest looking grove I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy cow. Let me cut down the ugly trees here. Jesus. Ah, where are you people? Anyway, I don't know what you guys did to these trees, but that's just not not good, man. I'm not pleased. I'm not happy. I'm gonna go ahead and beautify the area a little bit. Um, I, I'm full. One. There we go. That's better. Alright. Anyway. That's better. See, and they upgraded the, um... Now, it's now white brick. Kind of nice. Versus the, uh, mud bricks. They've got two quarries, I think. Hopefully they're not going to try upgrading both of them. Oh, good. Good thing I did. They're upgrading the Dawn. The Patty. Now. Good thing I brought them a good deal with that cooked brick. Otherwise. Eventually, I'll get to the point where they can make their own cooked bricks. Um, 
That way is a, that day is a bit far off yet, though. Yeah, I need to upgrade their kiln. Yeah, you can see where I was out here, uh... Laying down bunches of bricks. Um... Thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna go this way. Before it gets dark out here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of my factory set up. I love the fact that you made fence gates. Alright. Now, first things first, I've got to get my, uh. Got to get my, um. Solar panel set up first. Let me go ahead and. Alright. We're gonna put Mr. Fat Box right here. Oops, no we're not. <laughs> Redstone! Does not react well to... Oops, there we go. Alright. Put you back. Huh. Alrighty. Uh... Well, if I can't put it there because of the redstone, let me go ahead and put it. Yeah, that's work. Hey, no! Shoot! Dang it! Some things just don't work the way I want them to. Alright. Where's the bat box again? Uh, bat box. There we go. And I want the output facing down. Thank you. Which means I gotta stand right here and do this. Nope, I didn't do right. There we go. A dot is the output. And it's going to get dark, so you can't even see what I'm doing. Alright. One, two. And where's the solar panels? I'm... Solar... Oh. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy in this game. There. There. Solar panels up here. Here? No! Darn it! There! Uh, I go this way now. Can't get out! Oh, man. Excuse me, I'll get out. Alright. I'll put it back. We're gonna transfer my dirt right to you. We'll bring it out here. Alright. One there. One there. And the last one here. No power because it became night. Um, all right, so I need my compressor first. Do is we'll allow um, cables. That won't do.
Oh man, this is gonna be a little more complicated than I want it to be. Because of the way this is gonna interact, this is not gonna work the way I want it to. Oh, hello. Definitely not as easy as I want it to be. Alright. Right. This has to go up. There we go. It has to go on the top of the compressor to load the compressor. Like that. Now, how does the power? How do I get the power to it without being wonky? Wonky. Tell you what. I think I can get by doing this. Yes, this doesn't work. It won't work really well. It'll look kind of ugly, but screw it. <laughs> Alright, where's my wrench? Wrench! Alright, we're going to put Mr. Compressor. Where'd Mr. Compressor go? Where, hey, Mr. Compressor? Mr. Compressor will sit right here. I can then put transport pipes like that. And if I did this right, I can now uh, run. Oops, hey, none of that now. There. And out. Now, of course, I can't test this. It's night. So. <laughs> Let me go sleep. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Um, and there's some light. You can see that we're now getting power from the, from the solar panels. Which means the heat. Got power. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, if I go ahead and uh, show you how this works, all I gotta do is push the button. That does that. Look the switch. I'll go ahead and clean up a little bit. Can't. I am still here. We can actually go ahead and dump you here for a And dump my reason. As you can see, we're getting compressed plants. Now, if I go ahead and put Mr. Extractor over here, like such. Oh yeah, this is working nicely. I get quite a few of the little balls we're getting. You can see the bat box is actually charging up. Okay, it's only 40,000 EU. I thought it was 60, but no, it's only 40. Um, and I need something I don't have here. I have a couple things I don't have, actually. 
put on here. Let me get my boots off real quick. I gotta do. I gotta make this little thing real quick. It's not really practical, but I do like this pole. What can I say? It's the uh, it's the five year old me. You can't think can't, can't help but imagine how fun it must be sliding up and down that pole. Uh, I notice a disturbing lack of tin in my life. Hold on, I need to do some of that. There we go. Here, you guys can go up here for a moment because I really don't need you. Uh, same thing can be said for the money at the moment. Yeah, check and make sure I don't have money scattered all over the place. Uh, yeah, the mud brick can go up here too. The eggs. Yeesh. The wood. Which I need some of you. Come think of it. And the cobblestone and the dirt if necessary. Okay, that's good news. I think I'm good. I think I'm okay now. Yes. Oops. Out of power. Oh, my backpack drained the power. Uh-oh. Uh, where is it? No problem. <laughs> uh, well... Okay, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and do this, and this, I think I actually need four of those, so we'll just, there we go. Automatic crafting table do I need? Hmm. And then from you. Yeah, I'll take some time and uh there I'll be good for now. Up we get. <laughs> and here, out here working away. So we'll go ahead and push the button again. I need an area. I wonder if I can. I wonder if it's gonna be a problem if I go ahead and. Oh no, it's not. Good. Uh, need dirt. What do I need for right now? All right. And dirt this up. See, we got 23 of those things. That box is filling up nicely. Now. Wooden pipes suck things out. We put them here. Well, that's what you get, you think. It's, you know, got in my way, got smacked. 
put the engine. Hmm. No, actually, I don't, I don't want the engine there. Impossible to control there, so has to be here. There we go. Ooh, I could use. I could use something I don't have. I need that back. Oh man, that, that that's gonna be in the way. That is in the way. Darn. Okay, okay. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Here, we'll go ahead and... Alright. Well, actually... At this point, this place is nice and last in, so... Yeah, we'll just deal with it. It isn't the most ideal solution, but it's what I got, so, and you're not in the way, all right. Where's my automatic crafting table? There it is. It needs to be here. So if I go ahead and Put a pipe here. Stick. Fever. It should. Yep, there it goes. Alright, I need you to stop though for a moment. I uh, had to have fallen out. Yeah, I just spit them out. As expected. So, what we need to do is two of these. And my empty cells. over here for the extractor. Like that. Flip the switch. You see? Yeah, I need another engine. Need engine. <laughs> need another redstone engine. Um, need, need more sand. Excuse me. He was annoying me. I have more sand. Good deal. Down we go. <sighs> All right. So, redstone engines are simple enough. Two wooden gears, some glass, and a piston. So that's no problem at all. That's why I keep some pistons around. So. And I'm out of wood again. Darn it. Where's my wood? Alright. And did I not just. Yeah, I'm doing good here. Alright, there we go. One, two, three, some glass, a piston, my gears, another engine. Good enough. Now,
Okay, take off my boots. I did. Let me save again. There we go. Oh, I got to put on my boots. Sorry. Help again. get. <laughs> I have to be careful with spiders and such up here. I think, I think spiders can climb fences. I don't really want to find out. Yep, he can. Okay, so I'm not quite spider-proof around here. Oh well. So, you put... You here? And a lever here. So you throw that lever. You throw that lever. And... It is nighttime, there's no more power flowing into the Ow, darn it. Mind the hole. Try this again. Even though it's nighttime and there's no power flowing into the bat box, um, it still has enough power to run things for a while. And there goes my uh, bio cells. Oh. <laughs> Not quit it. Uh, <clears throat> I keep forgetting. Um, these things tend to be tend to uh, a little bit uh, what we're looking for uh, specific about where they want stuff. Uh, if you're gonna load anything into a machine, it really wants you to load it in the top of the machine, not the side. Which I can do easily enough by doing that. There. Flip the lever again. Here, you can go ahead and go in there. And now this thing is more or less fully operational. It's not as automatic as I might would like it to be. But it's still not too bad. There we go. Reed's going there. Get sucked up by the pipe. Get turned into plant balls here. Which is sucked up by that pipe. Get compressed here. Here it comes. And get it extracted in the biofuel cell here. There is one more step where they come before they come useful, but um, they get they get compressed there. See the power being slowly eaten up there. That one's compressed. I'll come out here. Back into this iMac table here. Yeah, the empty cell, I could, if I felt like it, have a chest full of empty cells. Um, but, you know, we're not gonna. I just put in, I just manually reload the empty cells when they get low. We'll work just as well for now. And then you get two of these little guys in here. If you will in a minute. 
There it goes. Don't spit out a cell. Let it travel up and over. And down, down we go. I think the system is clear. I don't see anything moving. So I can go ahead and flip. I'm fairly sure that redstone engines will not blow up. Even if they are left on. But, you know. I'd rather not find out. So. And there's one more stuff that I have to do to make them useful as fuel. But, for now. And there you have it. Biofuel cells. Reeds. To plant balls, to compress plant balls, to biocells, to biofuel cells. An automatic build craft and industrial craft factory. All powered by the sun. I just come down here and grab my biofuel cells and go on down. Um, I gotta do a few things that are useful, of course. Um, I gotta build one more machine. Oop. Yeah, I'm wearing my boots. <laughs> I mustn't forget to take off my iron boots there. There we go. Now, when you put coal in a generator, you get 4,000 EU as a power. When you put the when you put biofuel cells, um, hold on, I'll something. Oh, before I tell you that, let me go ahead and figure out how to do this. A flying thing around my head. Um, The rest of your book has got to be the most hand, handy thing ever. Um, especially if you got macerator, recycler. Come on, where is it? Must have missed it. Canning machines what I need. Oh man, something tells me I may not have enough. Ugh. I got ten, yes, but I've got no iron left. Well, damn it. <laughs> I can't show you the last step. I'm missing iron. I've used it all up. Every last bit. Uh, appears to be none left. Um, shoot. <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah, do I actually have any? I got some tin. I got copper dust. I got nothing. Well. That just sucks. Here. Uh, for illustrative purposes only. Let me, do show, let me show you something. This is too many items mod. Um, there it is. Um, I won't be keeping this, mind you. 
But this is just to show you what, what, how this works. Put the canning machine here. Grab my battery, which I did. There it is. Yeah, my half dead battery, but it should be enough for this point. Um, there you go. You make an empty fuel can. Put the fuel can here. You put one, two, three, four, five, six here. And you feed it some power. And I pray I have enough power for this. <laughs> I may not. Yeah, I do. Barely. Boom. Filled fuel can. Take the battery back. Alright. Oh. Trashed. Told you I wasn't keeping it. But yeah, now you, now you have a filled fuel can. And if you put this thing into a generator, uh... I can't make a generator. Oh, what the hell, I'll show you. Let's see. Boots. I think he needs power anyway. Do this. And I'll fill up the generator with 16,000 EU. Handy. I thought. Anyway, uh, let me go back out here. Take off the boots. It being daylight again. Yeah, I have a bronze sword now. That's yeah, very simple. I just, uh, Flip. 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 Let's do its thing while I uh, go check on my villagers. I need to know exactly how far they got in um, upgrading everything. That's nice and upgraded, of course. Um, that's not upgraded yet. It should be. Let me go figure out what's holding them up. <laughs> Regular visitor. No, I guess I did go ahead and upgrade it. They need more cooked bricks. Oh, man. You people. Uh, they haven't upgraded their cheese house yet. They upgraded the lumber house once we knew about. That upgraded once. Upgraded once. The quarry. The grove. That, yeah. So, um... So they got seven youths at this moment uh, that would grow up and, and inhabit stuff if they had anywhere to go. But they keep getting stuck with the cooked brick. Uh, you people are just useless some days. Pardon me. Yeah, so they, got, they got guards here. It's kind of cool, really. Well, that's just useless to me. Um, I'll have to spend more time and uh, help them out a little bit. Um, anyway, let me go over here. Open this thing. Oh, yeah, how are we doing?
Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get those things not to stick like that. Cause that's kind of a hassle and a problem, I guess. You would call it. Yeah, cause they're losing about six or so each time we do this. Which isn't horrible. Um, or seven. But it's, uh, annoying. Fuel cell. Yeah, I could stand to make uh, more to make this you know, a little more efficient, but it works. You trying to push that button, I get two biofuel cells, or maybe three or four. Depending on how long I let wait. So it's not bad. It's a working system. Um, I need to make it much, much bigger than it is, mind you. Um, if I really wanted this to be truly for frightening amounts of power, I would have another, at least another two rows of eight, and possibly another six, so a total of eight rows of eight would be probably be a better bet. But, what I got is working, at least. Um, yeah, I can go ahead and turn it off now. Yeah, you're done. And there goes the bio, bio cell. As a, as a proof of concept, it works quite well. It's, you know, it's not perfect. It's, you know, but... It works. I'm happy. And of course, everything's done, so I can just go ahead and shut you down too. Yep. Cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, you know, not actually a little build crack out there, a little more complicated build. You can see what you can accomplish with. Um, Industrial craft and build craft. Um, you know, limited by your imagination, really, honestly. Um, and, you know, how much time you spare time you got on your hands. Go ahead and grab these as I go in. I'll carry them on down. Anyway, as I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Um, my name is Iskandar. Uh, this is Iskandar's Travels in Modded Minecraft. And I will see everyone on the next episode.